What is up and I welcome each and every one of you back to a brand new Civ 6 or Civilization 6 video. Today we are going to be talking about how to fix the launcher, the crashes, everything that happens in Civ 6. Ever since really the April update, they had this new launcher they added which was supposed to sort of like advertise their games and it, it's, a, it's a game launcher, right? It's just a game launcher and uh, well, it was essentially before April, it was like before the Fire Nation attacked in Avatar really, before Sid Meier attacked, before Firaxis launched their invasion, you would just double click on Civ 6 and the game would load up and there were no crashes, no bugs. It was really smooth sailing. They really had a great game. It's still a great game. I'm just saying it ran perfectly. And ever since then, like each playthrough, I'd crash like four or five times, especially if I'm on stream. You know, if you watch my stream at twitch.tv slash Civ Life for one, you'd understand that while well, there's a lot of crashes going on. But uh, again, this is sort of just meant to sort of advertise everything, I guess. It's, 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 it's still buggy, right? It still crashes. And really the straw that broke the camel's back earlier today was when I clicked on play everybody turn down your headphones I'm about to do the same because this is uh yeah I, I don't know how to turn off the intro music but I was going to set up the Byzantium video that I w did earlier today and I wanted to take sort of like a screenshot for the thumbnail but uh when I it, for some reason I go into the autosave load the game and it just, every time it would crash, there'd be a bug. I wasn't able to load exactly what I wanted to screenshot. Like, I'll show you guys exactly after skipping all that. If you had, if you had your ears blown out, that's on you, not on me. I warned. Uh, but autosave right here, right? Look at this, look at this. Turn, not you. The minute, you're, you're tomorrow. We need basil. Nope, nope, well. This is the one. There we go. Basil, right? I wanted to take a screenshot of the video. It just kept crashing. Absolutely terrible. And whenever I create a game, it takes like a couple minutes to load. And it's, it's just like minor inconveniences. And the biggest thing is obviously the fact that uh, the game crashes, right? Now, how do we fix this? Well, I'm not going to take credit for this. That's a scummy thing to do. This Reddit user, this absolute legend, which I never thought I'd call a Reddit user, um, Fyodor underscore... Kara Mesa, I definitely said that. There's no way I said that right. But uh, this guy right here, he gave us a damn to-do list in order to bypass the launcher. He claims it will fix a lot of game-breaking issues, and using the launcher in the first place is kind of annoying, even when, it, I guess, sure, right? So this is everything, right? I'll link the uh, I'll link it down below in the description exactly what he did. But I'm going to show you guys exactly how to fix it. So go to Sid Meier Civilization 6 in your Steam page. If you want Epic Games or if you want, for example, Mac, it's right over here, uh, like right here. You could just see the edits. Pause and read on your own time. Read everything. But uh, you go to Steam, right? This is where I have the game. Right click Sid Meier Civilization 6, Properties. The launch options here is what you're going to get immediately. Advanced users may enter modifications. Now, you might as well call me the Spiffing Brit and sponsor Yorkshire Tea because, honestly, I'm about to break the goddamn Civ 6 launcher. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to copy everything in pink, everything in pink, even the quotation marks up to command percentage right here. So we're going to copy that. You control C, obviously, or just right. Doesn't if you don't know how to copy, honestly, just hey, I don't know what you're. I, I, honestly, I, I have nothing to say, bro. This is the le least thing you should be worrying about. We'll just paste this here. I'll paste it on screen so you guys can see, or you could control V. But there we go. We've pasted everything. But the problem right now, we'll, we'll go left all the way over here, is a lot of us under Steam don't have the game under the games file on our disk. So what you want to do is you want to come after that and copy program files multiplied by 86 or whatever and you are going to come back here and what you're going to do then is you're going to go there and then you're going to paste it right there so now we have that you're just going to cloak you don't have to save you don't have to do anything and now when we load up and i guess we did a desktop reveal if you guys are interested in any of these games i'll let me know i'll play them on my channel but uh, when you double click on Civ, hold on hold on it's it's gonna work no launcher whatsoever straight into the game straight to oh my god i forgot to take my headphones off that time but you just immediately skip the entire civ launcher you skip everything the game still loads up fast and i have tested this out i was doing the mayan video that i'm gonna i'm gonna finish that series tomorrow i'll release the video i played basil a, a couple more turns after i won the game i started my own personal type of thing and it, no crashes whatsoever i did about two or and a half total hours of game time. I have not experienced a single crash. The games are loading a lot faster as well. Let's just go ahead and random, uh, I guess not Basil. We'll go for uh, Gil Gilgabro. We'll go Gilgabro. Uh, we'll just we'll just do whatever. We're just going to start the game. It loads up so much faster. It used to take me like 
three or four minutes to really load up a game. My computer's decent for the most part, right? I'm not going to come out and say I have just some sort of NASA-powered computer. Uh, and I completely forgot that the, uh, the uh, music is demonetized, the intro music. Uh, it, it doesn't really matter, I guess. This video's like five minutes long anyway. Uh, so we'll just let this load up a little bit. It's really going to be a lot quicker than you would think. Come on, bro. Load up the game. Rests upon your shoulders it, like before, it used to take me like four or five minutes. Now it even t it takes me like less than a minute. I have a timer right now. Boom, game is already loaded in. And a lot of the times at the beginning, I'd have like sort of lags or whatever. But there is no lagging whatsoever. I think my settings are on... Uh, I completely forget. They're on high. I could put them on ultra, but I put them on high for the... Uh, uh, what's it called? For the AI only, I usually do. But essentially, that's it. And even when you click desktop and you escape, it does. It, ta it takes a while still, but it does end up escaping soon anyway. A lot sooner than it was. So, look at that. That was a lot faster than usually happens. You guys know, it takes like hours something. Not hours, okay? But it takes a while to load and close the game. But that's essentially how you bypass the launcher issue. Ish issue. It issue essentially and uh, honestly if you guys have enjoyed as always like subscribe but hopefully this will help you out a lot and hopefully uh we could sort of if we bypass the launcher forcefully we could hopefully force them to fix the launcher maybe give us a game update or something like that but uh yeah without further ado i'll see you all in the next video peace Huge shout out to Cash Christian, Ben Ombi, John Blair, Jackson Perez, Adam Mester, Empyrium, Polska Bob, Jeff Yutzler, Kim Cosmos, and a giant shout out over to Overflow of Amenities, Robert, Polaris Gaming, JH, and Mick James.